Good morning. Please read the, the article that I have written on indefinite leave to remain in this country as a spouse or partner and uh, uh, listen to this video in line with that article. Indefinite leave to remain as a spouse or a partner in, in this country is uh, an option available to those foreign nationals who have been here uh, in that category for at least five years. But this of course depends upon the immigration status of the UK partner. The UK partner must be either a British citizen or settled in this country, that is to say a, a permanent resident, uh, for the foreign spouse to be able to obtain leave to remain here on that basis and then after a period of five years can apply for permission to stay here on an indefinite basis. This of course uh, depends upon uh, the uh, assumption that the foreign spouse has been in this country lawfully throughout the period of uh, the time that he, she or they have been here. If for example they have come here uh, as visitors and then have married and have overstayed and made an application whilst uh, they have been overstayers or if they have been in this country uh, unlawfully uh, and then have had children and have then married a different scenario arises in those circumstances if and when they are granted uh, permission by a court or tribunal to remain in this country after having been refused by the Home Office for example they can then apply uh, for leave to remain in this country but it will not be under the five-year rule but under the ten-year rule so they would be given leave to remain here for a period of ten years and on each 2.5 uh, years expiry they will have to reapply for a further 2.5 years until a ten-year period has been completed after which they can then apply for indefinite leave to remain of course, EU nationals can obtain settlement, i.e. permanent residency, under their own scheme, steam. And that is to say, after a period of uh, five years here uh, as uh, uh, working uh, individuals or persons who have actually resided here for a period of five years under the EU settlement scheme, which does not require having to work here, but requires evidence uh, of residency in this country for at least that period of time. If, however, that is not possible for whatever reason uh, and uh, the EU partner has married the British citizen or a permanent resident, then in the same way that individual can apply for leave to remain in this country for two and a half years and then a further two and a half years after which he, she or they will be in a position to obtain settlement in this country. Those who uh, are not married and are unmarried partners or same-sex partners uh, and those who are civil partners uh, are in the same position uh, and they are able to remain in this country and obtain permanent residency after marriage or after the civil partnership. Insofar as unmarried partners are concerned, they may have an uphill struggle to begin with because they will have to show that they have actually lived with the, their partner for at least a period of two years. And living together uh, means, in this context, documentary evidence to show that they have lived together, like bills, council tax, so on and so forth. If they can show this, then they can make an application to the Home Office for permission to stay here uh, on the basis of unmarried partners. They will be classed as family members thereafter, and they can be granted per permanent residency after a period of five years, that is to say two and a half years initially and a further two and a half years making five years after which they will be in a position to apply for indefinite leave to remain or permanent residence. So it is a long road to permanent residence if you have not been in this country lawfully because you'll have to wait ten years until you are in a position to apply for permanent residence. But it is a shorter route if you have been here lawfully because you'll only have to wait for five years to obtain permanent residence. And after permanent residence, 
the world is your oyster because you can then apply for British citizenship if that's your wish. Thank you.